remember giant flu the company which OpenAI named its biggest threat few days back and we covered it on the channel the same company has released a couple of really really interesting models the first one is glm 4.5 and the second one is glm 4.5 air in this video we are going to test both of them out and i will be explaining what's really different with these two models as even if you compare them to their previous versions i have been covering these models from jaifu for a long time so they have been releasing this glm series which is evolving slowly but steadily for sure and they have been working very very hard for the last two years so they haven't really appeared in the last one month rather they are quite old they know what they are doing and i think they have learned a lot from their failures i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and i will drop the link to their website in video's description before we test out this model hands-on let's talk a bit more about what exactly this model is so this model is developed to unify and that is a keyword here reasoning coding and agentic capabilities into a single highly capable foundation model there are two variants of it first one is this 4.5 glm second one is the air version both are designed to handle complex tasks such as multi-step reasoning tool usage full stack software development and web browsing through a hybrid thinking mode for deep reasoning and non thinking mode for fast responses glm 4.5 features 355 billion total parameters with 32 billion active parameters while this glm 4.5 air is a more compact version with 106 billion total parameters and 12 billion active parameters making it faster and more cost cost efficient for real-time applications both models support 128k context length native function calling and are optimized for agentic workflows and they, this is where they achieve strong performance on <clears throat> various benchmarks which you can check out on the model card and i will drop the link to it in video description so for now let's test it out the good thing is that they have provided this chat interface where you can test it out it's a huge model i don't have a multi gpu cluster to uh, do the inference so please bear with me while i test it out on their provided website and i will drop the link to it in video description and it is simply chat.z.ai and i'm already logged in so first up i'm asking it hey smile you're on camera i'm recording this for a youtube video and there you go the model has thought and let me show you its thinking it has thought for a very brief period of time and it is understanding what it needs to do and then it is talking about okay the user seems to be addressing me as if i'm a person on camera and they're recording me for a youtube video they're asking me to smile i should only clarify that i am an ai language model and then it has clarified it and it has given me the answer now i know that this is uh, a light theme i have tried uh, setting it to the dark one but it doesn't work so my apologies if it is not that much visible okay so now let's ask it a proper question so what i'm going to ask it a real world question where i'm testing the model for deep search data reconciliation financial modeling multi-source citation and reasoning under certainty so you see uncertainty so you see i am asking it to act as a senior financial analyst at a hedge fund and the task is to evaluate whether tesla is undervalued or overvalued compared to legacy automakers like other brands based on real-time matrices so i will also select the web search here and then i'm asking it to scrape the earnings call transcript and then cite at least six live sources let's see if it is able to do that hopefully i will be able to check the thinking there you go so it is thinking it is understanding what i am asking it this is a thought process and then there is another thought process okay i'll just keep it as is so it is searching at the moment you okay, know results let's wait for it so you see um not only it is thinking step by step but for every step 
it seems it has broken it down into subtasks and then it thinks for every task which i think makes it quite different as from the rest of the lot and these subtle changes as how the model is tackling and approaching the entrance makes all the difference so you see it is searching through it the data is still slightly older it seems but that is fine and now it is going with the trading activity which is interesting and the good thing is that you can see that it is following the instruction which is always always required so i will let it finish here and it always fascinates me how exactly these models think it's been almost 10 minutes model is just going through all of these web pages it is reading all the earning reports it is thinking very deep seriously and you can see that uh, not only it is thinking but it is not just thinking in the thin air it is actually reading the stuff collating all the data and then giving trying to give us the response so i will wait to see um, what exactly it produces hopefully i won't run out of credits because i'm just using the free account i didn't have to put in any credit card or anything like that and after a prolonged thinking you see it is telling us that now it has gathered all the comprehensive information and now it is going to synthesize into an investment memo with a clear recommendation and you can see that it has produced a very good response here and it has given some of the highlights and be aware that it you know uh, it ran for 20 odd minutes okay now another thing which you can do you can simply um, maybe click on this drop down click on 4.5 air you can also test it out which is um the you know lower variant but still good enough i'm just asking it to translate these lines into all of these languages like it is just i love you and that's why i'm happy into all of these world languages and i will let you be the judge and again apologies it is just uh, invisible and they don't have a dark theme which is very surprising I will let it finish and then I will show you. And now this is where I believe it, we don't need a thinking model because it is a simple question of translation. It really doesn't need any deep thinking. And it is again thinking for a long time now. So I'm just going to run it here. I don't think so. This looks much, much better. But for some of them, they are perfectly good. So I will just run it here so that you can also tell me these looks okay uh even urdu looks good german looks good i'm not sure about these regional indian languages so please advise and i'm just scrolling through so it already has got the answer right but just due to the thinking it is unable to produce the final one just like the previous answers and some of them it doesn't know so i'll just stop it from here and then i'm just going to go back and let's finally do a coding one so in this coding one, I'm asking you to create me a self-contained, sorry, HTML file that features a colorful animated stuff. And I want it to have a rocket zipping through or across the screen in random directions. So let's see what sort of code it produces. Uh, should be good because it takes so long. I will wait for it to finish. And this time it was quick and you can see that the rocket looks really really good i think this is a one of the best animations i have seen to be honest even better than quen 3's ones it has also accessed an external resource or tool calling is also quite good look at this and i'm just clicking here on the screen you see it is animated and responsive this is actually quite good and this is the one uh, I will say the top response I have got for this prompt. What happens if I click on this? You see, if I'm clicking on this, it is even responding more. It is showing random motions here. So look, I think good work by GLM 4.5, way, way better than its predecessors. They have done wonderfully well. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And at higher level, on broader scale, you can imagine all of these companies like Alibaba, um this uh, jaifu by dance 
and deep seek and various others they have been releasing bottles it actually it's raining bottles at the moment in the month of july and we have covered all of them you can search them on the channel here and if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe as it helps a lot thank you for watching